When we leave the European Union, there are several things that happen automatically. One of them is that we, you know, our MEPs and our representation on the European Court of Justice and the Council goes. <coughs> but it's also the case that Britain becomes an independent coastal state. And that means, that at that point in international law, Britain has control over who can enter its exclusive economic zone, <coughs> which is the 200 mile limit around the country, uh, save where, obviously, Ireland and France are um, uh, closer than 200 miles, where it's the median line. And those are British waters. Now, it's an exclusive economic zone. This is where I am. Uh, your, your, your question does have one. That doesn't mean that it's an exclusion zone. That doesn't mean that foreign vessels can never or should never enter. But they enter on our terms. Right? And the great strength and advantage that we have then is that we can not only give uh, UK fishermen first call on those resources, we can also manage them more, um, uh, well, more so fundamentally sensible. A matter of international law and a matter of ecological principle coincide. Now, we would, I think, want to allow some foreign vessels access to the UK waters on our terms because we would want access to other waters as well because some of the fish that we have traditionally caught uh, is outside UK territorial waters. So whether it's herring, mackerel or cod, we sometimes catch them in Norwegian, Icelandic, or international waters, and we would want to be able to negotiate that access, but it must be a negotiation where Britain knows that in international law these are our waters. To press you on a particular point, <coughs> yes. will this actually happen at the point where we leave the European Union at the end of the Article 50 process? Isn't this really going to happen after the end of the transition process? Well, my understanding, and if there are international lawyers here who take a different view, of course I'd love to know, is that as a matter of international law, if we leave the European Union, then we become an independent coastal state. And then it's up to us to decide the terms on which we grant access. But obviously it's possible that for the transition we continue to essentially apply the same terms as the common fisheries policy. Well, I think that it would be... Um, it would certainly raise eyebrows if, having left the European Union, we maintained the common fisheries policy. And um, you know, part of the EEA, and Iceland is in the single market, and part of the EEA, <coughs> they are outside the common fisheries policy. Um, uh, when uh, we're in our transition period, we'll still be governed by the rules of the single market, but we won't be in the uh, same position as Norway or Iceland, let alone the same position that we were in when we were in the EU. So it seems to be logical in law and sensible in policy <coughs> for us to be an independent coastal state and then to negotiate um, other countries' access to